The true close thoracic vent has been designed for the treatment of spontaneous, traumatic, or iatrogenic simple pneumothorax. It can also be used for evacuating air from the chest following thoracic surgery. A thoracic vent comes in a procedure tray that is conveniently packaged in a sterile pouch. The thoracic vent includes a red signal diaphragm in line with the catheter. Fluctuations of the red signal diaphragm demonstrate entry of the catheter through the pleura and into the pleural cavity. The signal diaphragm will continue to fluctuate with respiration until the pneumothorax is resolved. A valved aspiration cannula is provided to allow for manual air evacuation through the self-sealing port at the top of the vent. A suction tubing set is also provided for attachment to a water seal device or other suitable suction systems. A syringe-activated port at the bottom of the vent allows for the aspiration of small amounts of fluid that may collect after initial insertion. The thoracic vent occlusion plug can be used to check for a continuous air leak from the patient's lung prior to removal of the vent. Placing the thoracic vent. This radiograph shows a moderate pneumothorax in the left pleural cavity. Here is the suggested procedure for using the thoracic vent. The site is selected preferably at the second interspace in the midclavicular line. The site is prepared with a PrEP solution. The fenestrated drape is utilized to isolate the operative field. Local anesthesia is administered in the selected site. A small skin incision is made at the site. The trocar is introduced into the device through the self-sealing port. Grasp the thoracic vent in the most comfortable manner with thumb or first digit over the trocar handle. Remove the paper from the back of the vent box to expose the adhesive. Then position the device and gently introduce the trocar catheter assembly through the incision, staying immediately above the superior border of the lower rib. When the trocar tip perforates the pleural membrane and enters the pleural cavity, the red signal diaphragm deflects upwards. Do not advance the trocar any further. The full length of the catheter is introduced into the pleural cavity using the trocar as a tract, and then the trocar is removed. The silicone sponge material at the base of the catheter helps to provide a seal at the incision site. The covers on the side flaps of the adhesive patch are peeled away and the device is secured to the chest wall. The vent can also be sutured in place. Cover the self-sealing port with the tethered cap. This radiograph shows the position of the functioning thoracic vent catheter in the pleural cavity. This lateral radiograph demonstrates the compliance, conformability, and kink resistance of the thoracic vent catheter. This radiograph shows the patient's lung still fully expanded after removal of the thoracic vent. Prior to using the thoracic vent, it is important to review the instruction booklet. This film demonstrates the advantages and superiority of the Uracil True Closed Thoracic Vent. The device can be quickly and safely introduced under all conditions and settings and is a reliable technique for managing simple pneumothorax.